Good evening, everyone. My name is Rebecca, and I'm excited to kick off the presentation for Group 3's web service project. I'd like to introduce our team. The team we have, Rebecca, which is myself as a product owner. We have Randy, the Scrum Master, Lorena, DBA, Shreya, and Pooja, the QA engineers. Next screen, please. Let's talk about web service concept. A web service is a software system designed to enable machine to machine communication over a network. What are some key features here? Interoperability and standard data formats. I'm now going to hand it over to Lorena. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, we will compare two web service protocols, SOAP and REST. SOAP is a complex XML-based protocol with built-in security and strict data standards, but it can slow down development. Typically works well for financial institutions or healthcare providers because it has a high security and reliability. REST is simpler and more flexible. It supports various data formats like JSON. It's faster due to its lightweight, stateless design, typically used for e-commerce and social media. Next slide, please. Web service architecture outlines how different systems communicate over a network using standardized protocols. This diagram shows how it typically works. Clients makes requests to a server, which processes the request and returns the data or service. Next slide. Now we'll explore the benefits. Three benefits are cost effectiveness, simplicity, and accessibility. Cost effectiveness, there are cheaper, low cost plans, making them budget friendly for small businesses. Simplicity, the use of standardized protocols, making integration across systems seamless and easy. And accessibility is the last benefit I would like to discuss. It is one of the most important benefits to me because web service is available 24 seven from any device with internet access, ensuring constant availability. Now I will hand this over to Randy. You're muted, Randy. Sorry about that. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Lorena. We are moving on into the web service technologies. The most notable for our project include, as discussed in the pre previous slide, SOAP and REST, which are two primary web service protocols. REST typically uses JSON for a lightweight data exchange, while SOAP relies on XML for structure messaging. Both use HTTP and HTTPS for communication, and API gateways help manage and route requests efficiently. Moving on to web service challenges. The challenges can include ensuring security through encryption, maintaining compatibility across different technologies, and optimizing performance for fast response times. Other key issues are scalability to handle increased traffic, reliability to prevent downtime, and managing data integrity and versioning to support both new and older clients. Moving on to challenge, key challenges and learnings. Our notable project challenges include some communication gaps, integration issues, and time management. Additional hurdles like version control conflicts, testing complexities, dependencies, delays, and skill gaps, which at times complicated the project execution. Key learnings from the project really highlighted how crucial clear communication and collaboration are, especially when we embraced agile methodology and dove into code reviews together. Effective time management and our passion for test-driven development kept us on schedule, while juggling dependencies and tackling new challenges remind us that learning never really stops. And let's not forget the magic of automated CI, CD pipelines. They did make delivering quality work feel like a smooth ride, almost like gliding down a hill on a well-paved road. Moving on to our tools applied, the image showcases a selection of essential tools we leveraged throughout the project. MySQL Workbench helped us keep our database organized while Jenkins, Jenkins ensured our code integration was smooth and efficient. Postman allowed us to test our API seamlessly and Eclipse served as our development hub. 
We utilize karate for automated testing and swagger for clear API documentation. Communication was key and tools like what's up and Google meet kept everyone connected. Ensuring we tackled challenges together and celebrated our successes along the way. Now, I'd like to turn it over to Shreya and Pooja to showcase a live demo using the required tools needed to develop the book management system. I've created for our book management system project. So, as you can see, we have created the database book management system. Under that, we have created a table named book and in that we have uh, created the attributes in which we have ID as a primary key and we have uh, kept ISBN number as a unique number as it is a unique number for our books. And as you can see, this is our data for our books and you can see the results down here. Now I would like to show you guys our uh, postman. Um, as you can see, we have created a book management system collection over here, which consists of four um, API methods that are get, post, put, delete. Now I would like to run it. So as you can see that the get, put, delete method, they have passed successfully. Just the post method has uh, shown us the error as I have done it purposefully because we have done both negative and positive testing. So to show that I have kept it like that. Uh, moving on to the next, we have our uh, swagger that we have used for our um, API for our API document, as you can see, we have the get uh, get endpoint, which um, which shows all the books that we have added inside here. Then we have our post method, post API that uh, that we have used for uh, uh, for uh, entering the data for the books. Then we have the delete API for deleting any particular book with the ID number. Then we have the get API to search for a particular ID. Then we have the put, put API, which we have used for updating the, uh, for updating the books using, using the book ID number. And now I would like to uh, sh uh, sh I would like to pass it to Pooja for further showing. Thank you, Shreya. Let me share my screen. So, hi everyone. Good evening. Are you guys able to see my screen? Yes. So, my name is Pooja, and I will give the demo on automation testing we implemented as part of our project. So we have used Karate Test Automation Framework for our book management system API testing. First of all, we created Postman collection. So you can see here post uh, for uh, request, get, get books, post requests for add books, put request for the update book by ID and delete request for delete book by ID. And then we have created the MySQL database. So you can see here the nice table and the records <clears throat> so and implemented node.js code to make sure postman and database is working as expected by using these endpoints we have implemented karate automation in which we have created four feature files so as can as you can see here first is the book details feature file so feature name is fetching book details scenario name is testing the get all book details and we can we have given the url here <clears throat> and the then the status code is 200 and for also for post method we have created the feature file a uh, feature, feature feature file then for the delete uh, delete book we have created the feature file and for the update means put method we have created the feature file so we have put the assertion by using status codes of the responses and for assertion of get method, we have also 
we have also formed a JSON data to be compared with actual response. So we have given the book, uh, books.json file name here. So we have created this books.json file and we have inserted the JSON uh, data here. And as you can see, the parameters are ID, title, author, publisher, publish date here. So let me run the test file now. So as you can see here, all the test cases are passed for the gate method, for the post method, then for delete book and for the update method. So as you can see, all the test cases are passed and let me show you also the auto-generated reports which we have done. So as you can see here, four feature files. First one for the get method, second for the post method, uh, third is for the delete feature file, and fourth one is the put feature file. And these files are expandable, so you can expand here. In the get method, you can see all the data. As in the post method, <coughs> Here is the data and the message is book created successfully. And the time required in millisecond. So that's it from my side. Thank you all. Let us know if any question. Good job, guys. Let's give a big round to this group. First of all, very good. Uh, I can see everyone has participated. First of all, excellent work, Rebecca. This was your first project. You started very strong. So thank you for you know setting the high bar. A couple of questions. When you started this project, like what are the key challenges you experienced? For me, my key challenge was actually being able to find the time to balance this. Mm -hmm. Because of your multiple uh, projects going on? Well, not the multiple projects alone, but the full-time job that I'm uh, working 50 hours a week. So that's taking up all my time, my entire day. Got it, got it. This team is excellent and they did an excellent job by also including me to allow me to be part of this with the little time that I could give. Perfect, got it. Uh, question for uh, Pooja, for you, yes. like when, when you were working, like let's say if I give you one extra one month, what would you add in this project? So I would say, sir, uh, I will implement the end-to-end -end automation, uh, the Jenkins part, the CI/CD pipeline. Yeah. Got it. Uh, I mean, like when you are working on this project, what specific uh, challenge you experience? Mm, the uh, challenge I faced was in the swagger because of my uh, python file it has some indentation issues and that's why it was not running throughout successfully so it it took me a lot of time over there very good um randy question for you i know you have been a great presenter and all what what specific thing you learned from this project which you can carry on Actually, I've learned that following a process and just being able to work with Shreya and maybe not do everything that she did, but try to give my input and, you know, learn from that and learn from my other teammates on how they did certain aspects of the project. Got it. Lorena, this is your first project with this, this group. Uh, how how do you rate this group and how did you guys communicate with each other? Um, I would give this a ten. This was a a really great experience working with them. It was a it was decent like communication. 
I felt like everyone um, spoke and I was glad to be, you know, a part of this particular group. So yeah, I think it was, it was fast communication and everyone was able to pitch in. Perfect. Well, this is really good. I think I'm hoping that you enjoy working with each other and seems like you have end to end working code. I saw you have. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our bank account project. It is done by self, my name, Ami, Eric, Nikhil, and Saida. This project ensures the security, the functionality, and performance of the bank account API. We have tested critical operations like account creation, updating, deletion, with the focus on a data accuracy and security. The key elements include efficient account management search functionality. The goal was to validate the API reality in a real world scenario covering both functional and non-functional requirements. The end-to-end -end, uh, architectures um, that demonstrate the flow of the data between the client API and the database. The client requires the, app, um, the web app sensor requires uh, VIA to the internet to the web service. The API processing is handles the interactions between the server and the database managing data and reachable updates. Uh, the response, the server process the request and send the, uh, the response back to the client. This setup ensures the efficient and secure communication across the system. The next slide will be about the contract. The API contract outlines the key details for the client server communication. Like the header critical uh, information, like client ID, origins, authentication, the request handling, parameter, define the sessions account field, like account holder name, um, as the endpoint, like certificate actions, like for managing bank accounts, like post, get, boot, and delete. The response code standards be, um, integrates the request outcome. The contract ensures the clear and consistent interactions between the client and the API. Now I'm going to hand over to a, uh, Eric, who's going to talk more further to the slide. Thank you, Amy. Moving on to the SQL workbench interface. Here we use this to create and manage the database for storing bank account information. By defining a table with appropriate fields, such as name, account number, account type, routing number, and so on. Once the scheme is established, queries can be executed, such as insert, up, update, or retrieve, all with, with the select star command. This data can be accessed through API, which can be validated using Postman, which what I will cover next. Moving on. Here, we use this to test the API endpoints that interact with the bank account created in the workbench. By sending HTTP requests such as get, host, put, and delete to the API, we can verify that the operations for creating, retrieving, updating, and deleting bank account information function correctly and return the expected responses. Moving on. In the command prompt, we navigated to the directory C drive web service using the change directory command to access the folder containing our Python application. By executing Python bank account API.py, we started the server on port 5000, which was essential for handling API requests. This allows Postman to communicate with the server and test the bank account operations, while also ensuring that the app would interact with the data created in the SQL workbench. Moving on. Here, we use GitHub to manage the code base for, for the project, enabling team members to collaborate effectively by sharing changes and reviewing code. We integrated GitHub with Jenkins by using the URL given in GitHub. This is how they communicate. Moving on. Lastly, here in Jenkins, you can see that we have the two builds that ran successfully, indicating that the code was functioned as expected. And here are the results. At this time, I would like to pass it on to Nick to talk about Swagger. Yes, hi. I, uh, uh, so I'm just going to dive into uh, Swagger. Basically, in Swagger, according to the uh, video on the form, 
uh, we could use uh, sample if you know, spider we had a uh, cat post leave the cat and post and basically um we start with the five letters for um delete post for cat and cat delete is basically delete account by the post is create a new account port is update account id cat is fetch for record id and cat can also be fetched for all six records and mapping of these files are methods to the um sql command uh, basically select is a sql select is a cat which is a uh, performs um, search fine um, sql command we have insert Basically, post method we create a uh, new port. Uh, also, in SQL, we have update. Uh, that update SQL command is basically put method in the uh, API method. Update data is put. Delete will be uh, data. So, the swagger file was actually uh, in the video, and I I work with the uh, I service that key by file to shower, but uh, I'm stuck with the file there. Um, and I started working on a Python code. Next, please. Thank you. Okay. So, a couple of things here. I'm going to look at the screen. I'm going to have my computer. Um, first of all, this is a, a scenario. There's two scenarios. Main thing is line number 4, 5, 6, 17, 20, 21, and 22. Number 4 gives you a new URL. And this is the database that exists on the um, site as a computer. And uh, the first one is get one uh, record for the database, which is ID equals one. Uh, number 5 says when method equals get. Get can be said that. I'm going to invoke a get method for URL. Number six says then status 200. That means that we're looking for a successful uh, get method, which uh, uh, the body, the content is from 17 to 15. Nothing but all the fields are, are they matching or not by the one. However, uh, line number 17 says print response. So we're going to see all these data. Uh, again, testing the get all the counts details scenario. Uh, basically, there's no code. Oops, go back. Go back. Okay, so line number 20 is given all HTTP, that's what I'm saying, all, meaning there's no code. We're getting the entire six records and fetching. From the database, so method equals get and oops, equals 200. Uh, I also want to point out to the class that uh, this is a in QA. We call this functional for regression testing. We can use this for regression testing, and this can be used for client uh, based uh, user acceptance testing as well. But what's interesting is the uh, it's not on the screen, but what's important is the test case is. That verify if the actual response results matches with the expected response. So in our case, yes, the actual response did uh, the actual response result did match with the expected data. Next, please. Um, so, um, so in the eclipse. Basically, we create this uh, Karate API uh, folder which contains uh, features, feature files. And there are many, many feature files. And the summary report generated shows the data. Um, we have a, a feature file called account detail, that feature. And uh, Again, I mentioned this before, the syntax is given in this scenario, given, when, then, and then. 
for getting one record. The other one is given when and then for all the records. So one of the uh, URL was incorrect. That's why one create user failed. Uh, period user feature file failed. The other two create user two and user details feature file succeeded. And I generated the three reports from that as well. Um, there are many, many different kind of uh, there's many, many different kinds of uh, uh, data types that are accepted by the uh, Karate framework, which is string, numbers, JSON, and XML, many data types. So basically, you can define a variable, define account equals ID, name, and so on. Using a variable, you are able to define variable uh, such as using the DEF uh, so keyword in the uh, uh, get can we can define a variable my one equals world. Then we can set my world well my world to work, but we also have another uh, integer which is called my num plus five. Um, Again, karate is automation testing for QA people, but compared to the Selenium, Selenium is more, much more front end. And Selenium actually I've done it uh, through Java, and it can be done as well. Um, next week. Can everyone see my screen? Yeah. So this is our this is our command prompt. As you can see that our service is up and running. First, let's look at our database. Here is our account table, which has the following fields like account holder number, name, and ID. And here, uh, when we select uh, star, uh, when we select star from all account, when we run, we can see all the accounts details are here. Uh, next, I will open the postman. Uh, here we have four methods get, post, delete, and put. First, I will like to run the get method. When I run, as you can see, it says 200 and it shows all the accounts that are presented in our database. Next, I would like to do the post. Here is the account holder name as a Smith. And when I send this request, it's successfully created. And here is the code. Now I will uh, go back to our database to confirm that this account has been added in our database. So has, as you can see, Smith is added to, uh, to in our database. Now I will go to Swagger. I would like to show my Swagger documentation. And here you can see we have different methods like delete, get, post, put, and get. Here, I would like to run the delete command and I would like to delete the account ID, which is 13, and I executed it and it says successful. Now, I would like to try it out if it's deleted or no. And here you can see that account ID 13 is deleted. Now, I would like to switch to our Eclipse where we have uh, our Karate project for our testing. I've, I have two features files. Now, I would like to run my feature file, run as JUnit, and it's running. And and here you can see I have three test cases and all are passed. I would like to show the karate report in the browser. Here you can see all are passed. Here that one is the account detail by ID, and here is all the account are listed here. Now I would like to show our GitHub repository. This is our GitHub repository where we keep our code project code, and we have connected this to our Jenkins. Uh, here is our build, last build, and if I can show you the console output, and here you can see the success. 
That's all from my side. Thank you for listening. Now I will pass over to Amy for continue our presentation. So that was our live demo decided date. The key challenges that we face during the API testing. Uh, testing multiple endpoints requires strong technical skills. Um, tracking API behavior across the system makes troubleshooting difficult. Um, it's hard to cover all the edges cases due to a variety of API inputs and response. This challenge highlights the complexity to ensure green API reliability. The next uh, tool that we have used for this um, project is the Postman for manual API testing, Visual Studio and Eclipse, MySQL, um, GitHub, and also use a Google News and WhatsApp for the team communication and coordination. These two facilitated efficient development, testing, and collaboration throughout this project. Thank you for watching our presentation. We are now open to for the old question. Wow, very good. Seems like you're a smaller team, but you accomplish a lot more. So a couple of questions. Uh, I mean, question for you. While you started the project, like how did you define the plan? Who will do what, when, and how? So we would write the task um, for the various of testing to do. And then once we divide into that, then we had a meeting again, like do some scrum masters in there as well, um, like agile methodology to have a what to do next and what it worked for us. And then we from there took a step at a time. Very good. Eric, like while you were working with this group, like what was the exciting part? Like what you say, wow, that's so much fun, or it rewarded you, like certain aspect. Well, what I enjoyed the most is uh, creating APIs using command prompt. Um, using Postman was a lot of fun. And uh, uh, SQL Workbench. I feel like I got a good grip on it now. So I, I enjoyed that the most about the project. Very good. Nikhil, like while you working with this pro project team, how did you communicate with them? Uh, very well, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, four of us were very uh, conducive mm -hmm. to work together. Um, I liked uh, particularly, I like the uh, Python mm -hmm. part of uh, I service that Python, mm -hmm. I service to that. Mm -hmm. I thought uh, uh, looking at the code and how do you uh, ask you wrong commands, for example, mm -hmm. Python. Yeah. So I mentioned a couple of uh, SQL commands, so all five of my have already Python code, so that will update it. Yeah. So. Very good. And say that, like, while you were working with this project, I saw you did karate and you did Jenkins. What was the most difficult part for you? The first one to connect with the database. I wanted to, you know, when I run in the Postman, so it will, you know, update my SQL too. So it it took me a while, but uh, I figured it out. So it, it was. Everyone, good evening. Uh, my team and I are going to present to you our web service uh, API testing project. We picked Lowe's, which was founded in 1946 and is um, headquartered in Mooresville, North Carolina. Lowe's is one of the largest home improvement retailers in the world, serving millions of customers. It offers a wide range of products, including building supplies, tools, appliances, home decor, garden products, and plumbing and electrical items. Lowe's provided the key services such as installations, tool rental, and home remodeling. It caters to both DIY enthusiasts and uh, professional subcontractors. Uh, Lowe's maintains its industry leadership through its expansive uh, product range strong customer service and commitment to sustainability. I would like to introduce our team. Anna is the product owner, myself, Lei as the Scrum Master, Kang um, is the lead QA engineer, and Kulsu as our developer. I'll hand it over to Kulsu for the project overview. Thank you, Leilani. Good evening, everyone. 
Today I will be presenting the project overview. The goal of this project is to develop a web service to manage product data with third functionalities and ensure quality through automated testing. This project aims to enhance Lowe's digital capabilities by providing a reliable web service with thorough testing processes. This will lead to more efficient management of product data and improved service quality. Uh, let's go over the architecture diagram. Uh, before I begin, let me briefly discuss the difference between the API and the web service. API is a set of rules uh, for communication between two software applications and web service is also a type of API that must be accessed through a network connection though. And the diagram shows RESTful web service architecture where client sends HTTP requests using JSON and XML. RESTful web service processes the data, server accesses the database through, to perform code operations. Response is sent back in JSON and XML format. This setup ensures efficient communication and flexibility between the client, the web service, and the database. And moving on to the next slide. The HTTP status codes tells us the result of a request. Like for uh, like 200 is for success. 400 is uh, if it is an invalid request and 404 is like resource not found or if a resource is missing and 500 is when there's an internal server error. And with this, I conclude my presentation. I now hand over to Anna. Thank you. Thank you, Kulsun. As we proceed on with our project, it is important that we outline our implementation strategy to ensure an organized and efficient testing process. We'll start by reviewing the requirements in order to have a deep understanding of them. Following that, we'll, we will focus on creating a strong testing framework to facilitate test execution and reporting. Finally, we will develop accurate test cases and specifications that align with our goals, allowing us to effectively validate the Lowe's online service. Moving on to our next point, the Lowe's API web service contract outlines the structure and standards for connecting with Lowe's services and products through defined endpoints. It details the possible operations such as retrieving, adding, updating, and removing product information and specifies the expected request and response form formats, including required parameters and data types. This contract confirms that low services have immediate API connection and dependable data integration. As we move forward, we created a MySQL loads table for storing key service data, which is accessible through our local host. This table serves as the foundation of our application, allowing us to efficiently manage important service information by connecting to the database using Postman, we tested uh, the core data operations, get, post, put, and delete, to ensure that our API interacts with the data appropriately. This connection evaluated the functionality of our services and verified that the data is correctly maintained across the application. As we continue, uh, we turned our attention to automate testing using Ready API. This tool allowed us to execute specific test scenarios to verify that our API services were secure and dependable. Let's take a look at how Ready API helped us uh, validate our endpoints and gain a better understanding of uh, our application's overall performance. I'll hand it over to Leilani to continue. Thank you very much, Anna. Um, in this screen, um, I have uh, the GitHub and the Jenkins. We have uh, created our project repository to upload our necessary files 
our um, the Python file, the JSON file, and uh, um, our uh, Karate folder from uh, Eclipse for easy accessibility among team members and work efficiently for smooth communication on the project. Our GitHub is linked to Jenkins to automate the process involved in building, testing, and deploying the code. As you can see in Jenkins, we have generated the Karate report like what was uh, generated from Eclipse. This is uh, our Swagger. This is uh, our um, Lowe's Installation and Services API screen for the Swagger. Swagger is a suite of open source tools which is used to define, design, and document RESTful APIs. With the help of Swagger, we can automatically build beautiful and interactive API documentation. As you can see, we also have our uh, Python code to um, trigger our um, Swagger to, to run um, and um, run our project. This is uh, our um, uh, Karate integrated in Eclipse. Karate is an open source uh, testing framework that simplifies the process of API testing. It uses a domain-specific language based on Gherkin, which is also used by Cucumber, making it easy to write tests in plain, understandable language. I will hand over to Anna to give you a walkthrough on our project. Thank you, Leilani. I will share my uh, MySQL table with the columns for ID, service, product, city, and zip code. Um, you'll see how this data changes uh, as uh, we add, uh, edit, and uh, deleted records. Um, whenever it's inserting new entries, uh, modifying existing ones, or removing data from the database. Once I uh, uh, configured the local host, I uh, connected it with the browser, so I was able to get our information. And uh, now I will connect to the postman. And here in our uh, uh, postman, uh, we created multiple requests for the get, uh, post, and uh, delete. Uh, we ran uh, multiple test cases for each of this request. All the requests passed successfully, and we were able to, um, to get uh, um, a good uh, report. Now I will uh, run our collections. And um, I will connect it also with, um, I will choose our da um, data, I will select the data file. Okay, I will run the collection. And, uh, Here you can see, uh, because once we run multiple times, uh, I get, we could get some fails also, and uh, uh, some uh, tests uh, passed and some test fails. And uh, also I will uh, show you the ready API. We created, uh, uh, once uh, we established our, um, API local host, we created a test suite and uh, in the test with uh, the test cases and uh, all the tests passed and uh, we were able to generate a report for, um, for the tests. And here you can see the, the report of our testing. Now uh, I will uh, stop uh, sharing my screen and uh, I will pass it to Leilani. Thank you, Anna.
I will share my screen again. So um, if you check the get method, there's no data. So I will post some data. I have five fields, so please bear with me. I'm inputting all the um, information. For all the fields required for our schema. Once I already uh, inputted all the necessary details, I will execute it. And as you can see, oh, wait, just give me one second. Name is not completed with double quotation. Yeah, I think there's a problem with the quotation. Yeah, you may want to copy paste like the JSON, which is working JSON. Because I think name, you started with double quotation, but did not come close double quotation. Sorry about that. Mm As you can see, all my data are, um, are created. And if you go back to um, get the uh, uh, method, it uh, um, added to our database. Then I will uh, click the delete method. I will um, key in the ID number one and execute it. And it's a success. I will go back to check if it's a successfully uh, deleted. I will check again um, using the get method. And as you can see, it's a 200 and it's a success. 
And if you check uh, in the browser, it's no longer there. I will um, show you um, the Eclipse. Um, this is our karate project uh, integrated in Eclipse. We have uh, come up to uh, features. One is uh, for um, adding the Lowe's service and the other one is uh, um, displaying all the installation and service details. I have generated um, this report earlier and um, this is our karate um, uh, report. Um, for the summary, I have um, uh, our um, test cases. We have uh, test scenarios uh, for each test case that has passed and uh, failed. And um, looking at the this one, um, it's passed on um, get uh, creating the record and um, it failed um, based on the negative uh, testing. Um, moving on, that's our um, demo. Okay, for this slide, um, here are the lessons that uh, uh, we learned from this project. As we reflect on our experiences, we have gained some important insights that will help us in future projects. We discovered that having a well-structured approach to planning is essential for maintaining project growth and ensuring timely completion. Additionally, building strong relationships and fostering open communication within the team allowed us to effectively manage challenges and achieve our goals. Here are our tool, uh, tools and technology use. We had mentioned the GitHub, the Swagger, the Karate, Postman, Eclipse, and Ready P, uh, API, and uh, My, MySQL as our major, also our uh, the Jenkins as our major applications uh, for uh, this project. Um, without uh, uh, with the help also of uh, WhatsApp and Google Meet, we able to uh, discuss and. Um, communicate regarding um, the challenges or um, the success uh, along the way in doing this project. Thank you very much for listening and watching. To wrap up, this is the end of our uh, presentation and we, we are now open uh, for any questions that you may have. Thank you. Just a few big a lot more, lot more work done by this group. So congratulations. I can see a lot more heavy lifting you and your group has done. So question for you, Anna. While you were working, like, what was the most difficult challenge you experienced? One challenge that I uh, faced um, was after successfully creating uh, tests in Postman, when I ran multiple iterations with the uh, data CSV, file, some tests began to fail and uh, showing the, the errors. Uh, additionally, my experience with the Ready API uh, presents its own a challenge for me. Uh, I attempted to create multiple tests, but I struggled to to generate uh, load tests so that uh, would uh, provide uh, a good report. That's why I created just one <laughs> test case. No, but you tried. I can see Ready API. You tried, which is nice, excellent work. Mm -hmm. uh, Liliana, mm -hmm. question for you. While you were working, it seems like you did a lot of heavy lifting as well. Uh, what part excited you the most? You know what, uh, Sir Tishar, uh, like what I said in the Selenium project, I uh, have a best team and I can say also uh, for this project, um, I have a best team as well. So working with them, um, we have good memories. It's so light. You know what, um, for the span of one week, it's for others, it's a um, uh, short time but for us it's long because we able to finish um like uh wednesday night because we are collaborating ideas we are exchanging ideas they're so very um cooperative and self-reliant so i think uh um yeah the happy memories we we already developed our uh, friendship 
uh, our camaraderie with each other. I think that's a good memory working on this project. Really excited me and or um, wow me in this project. Very nice. So Kulsum, what was your favorite part while working with this team? Um, favorite part, like learning many tools, learning different uh, aspects of the project and coming to know the like, protocols and the solver, ready API, most of this, I won't say I'm perfect, but mm -hmm. got to learn, know many of the, uh, I will need more, that I need more practice. 